Chris Schmoes and tested their street smarts by asking basic questions about the world around them. It will be up to our players to determine who's an egghead and who's a big yokel. And speaking of players, let's meet him. We have the lovely Jackie here. Hello, Jackie. But don't forget Big Paul. What's up, Paul? <laughs> now remember, there is no middle ground on street smarts. The winner goes home richer, and the loser just goes home. Okay, let's meet the three people they'll be making snap judgments about. First up, I chilled with Ra in Times Square. So, Ra, where are you from? What do you Chill do? Town. I'm from Chilltown, JC, baby. Jersey City? Yeah, baby, you know. And so what do you do in Jersey City? Nothing, chilling, you know what I'm saying? We all making it happen, you know? Now, if you could marry one celebrity, who would it be? Tyra Banks, yo. Oh. Do a lot of people tell you you kind of have the voice, the sound like DMX? Nah, ain't no X over here. What? Nah, man. What? No. No. <laughs> All right, that's Rob. And in Las Vegas, Oyeta shared the secret of staying young. You have all three of your kids tattooed yeah. uh, on your arm. James, Jamisha, and Mahari. Oh. Oyeta, what keeps you young? Bad sex keeps me young. I have it behind bushes, in parking lots, <laughs> drive throughs She talking about 10 minutes, please. Right. It has oh. sex. Get your own happy meal. <laughs> And finally, Angie left her heart in San Francisco. So Angie, I understand you like to come down here and just dance sometimes. Yeah, I do. So Angie, tell me about your outfit here. Now, you made this vest last night? Yeah, I made it because um, this boy made me really sad, so whatever. Did you feel better since you've made it? Not really, I still miss him, but at least I have a cool vest. <laughs> What's your favorite phrase or motto? Expression, not repression. Yeah, oh, that's, okay. that's my motto. <laughs> She's a free spirit, that Angie. Okay, guys, it's time to play a little game we like to call Who Knew It? We asked the same question all three people in the field, and your challenge is a guess who answered the question right. You are locking your choice, choice, and a correct guess is going to get you 100 bucks. Okay, guys, let's do it with Who Knew It? Here's the first question I asked to Ra, Oyeta, and Angie. What's nicknamed the Big Easy? So flip up your paddles, guys, and tell me what's nicknamed the Big Easy. Go ahead and flip it up there, Paul. Start spinning. Let me know if it was Ra, oh. Oyeta, or Angie, who made a nice little vest. OK. Uh, and you're almost ready. OK, you guys are locked in. That's who you guys want to stay with? You're locked in there? OK. Yeah. Paul, you think Oyeta knows this, right? Yeah, you know, I, I think Oyeta's got this. She, she looks like she kind of knows what's going on. Angie's a real ditz, and I don't want to okay. go with her. All right, let's leave Oyeta. Let's stay with Oyeta. What's nicknamed the Big Easy? A uh how? <laughs> Because she's easy. Because she's easy. It's <laughs> the wrong answer, Paul. I'm sorry, that is not correct. He was like waiting to see. Was that right? Okay, all no. Right, Jackie, you think Ra's gonna get it right? <laughs> yeah, because I mean, Ra, Ra, he's my man. If he can't get it right, no one can. <laughs> yeah. What's nicknamed the Big Easy? Big Easy? No, um, New Orleans. New Orleans, very good. Yeah. That's the right answer, Jackie. He got it. It's New Orleans, Paul, the Big Easy. <laughs> Hundred bucks for you, Jackie. Nice job. And a nice cheer, by the way. Okay. Here's the next question I asked all three. Who lived at an estate called Mount Vernon? So who knew it, guys? That's uh that's one there. Ra, Oyeta, or Angie knew that for you. What do you think, Paul? Start spinning, let me know. He's studying that board. Oh. We might get another cheer out of Jackie. Okay, all right. Okay, you guys are locked in. We have an Angie, we have a Ra. Now, Jackie, you think Angie's gonna get this right, huh? Yeah. Something about this one? Yes. Yeah, she, no. She's Seems not happening. pretty deep. <laughs> All right, let's see if she's deep enough for the answer. Who lived at an estate called Mount Vernon? George Washington. George Washington lived there. And what was it? Where was it? Mount Vernon in um, Vermont. That's the right answer, Jackie. Yeah. There you go. You're two for two. Two out of one. Paul's getting upset. Paul, now wait. Ross still might know this. You think he does, right? You know, he's a, he's a pimp guy, dude. He looks like, you know. All right, let's find out. What's going on. Let's, let's check him out. Who lived at an estate called Mount Vernon? Mount Vernon, Heavy Day. Who did? Heavy Day. Mount Vernon. Heavy D? Mount Vernon, right? He is from Mount Vernon, that's true. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, You're singing oh, Heavy D, the rapper, oh, Paul. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, now that we found out, right, what are we right. going to do? <laughs> we went well, with, with Heavy himself. D and the boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the last question of the round, guys. I asked all three. What U.S. state used to be known as the Sandwich Islands? Yeah, what U.S. state used to be known as the Sandwich Islands? Who knew it? Ra, Oyeta, or Angie? Jackie's up 200 to nothing. She's going for a perfect first round here. All right, looks like Paul's ready. Jackie, you guys are both locked in. Now, you both went with uh, Oyeta. Now, before I find out why you guys wanted to choose her, let's see what Angie had to say. What U.S. state used to be known as the Sandwich Islands? That was Philadelphia. Philadelphia was the state? Yeah. That's the wrong answer. Thank you, Angie. All right, let's see if Oyeta can get you each 100 bucks, see if she knew it. What U.S. state used to be known as the Sandwich Islands? 
I'm gonna say Hawaii because that's like the only island, ain't it? That's right. Very good. There you go. You both had Oyeta. That's the right answer. You guys got it. It's Hawaii. All right. Paul, you got a hundred bucks right now after round one. That's not bad. Jackie, three hundred dollars for three for three. Now that we found out who knew it, stick around. We're gonna find out which one knew it. Come on back. Julio, who is Keanu Reeves? Oh, that's that dude from uh. <laughs> What's the name of that show? <laughs> that guy that leaned back like this on. Uh, the Matrix. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. 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 Welcome back to Strange Parts. Let's meet our players. Now we have Jackie here. Now, Jackie, why do comics always pick on you at comedy clubs? <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. Because. Frank, um, I have a funny laugh, and Do it's you? kind of like Fran Drescher's a little bit. <laughs> and, <laughs> and whenever I go to a comedy okay. club, they they always, point, they, they find that laugh, me, and the whole audience starts laughing at my laugh, and then the comic just picks on me the whole go ahead, time. Go laugh, go ahead, laugh right now. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, Paul. Tell me about the, the time you and your uh, buddies caught all crabs. Right, check this out. Me and my buddies used to always catch crabs back in Hawaii, and we used to always sell them to the market. One right. time we went out, we were crabbing, we caught the biggest crab ever. I mean, this sort of thing was huge, eight pounds. I mean, it's just Whoa. giant. Pulled it in the boat, it got out of the net. So this thing's running in our boat, takes off. Me and my three buddies are freaked because it's huge. We run to the end of the boat, the whole thing flips entirely <laughs> over. We're all in the water, right, with this crab. We're freaking out. This crab, we think it could kill us. Dun, so we freaked out. We dun, got to shore, dun, we're hugging dun, the dun, ground. Dun, dun. We went back out, we caught that crab, but we didn't sell it because that was like our trophy, so we ended up eating that. Yeah, crab. all right. <laughs> Eat that, man. God, <laughs> the crab makes angry. Eat him. Okay, it's time to get down and dirty as we start our next round. Who blew it? This time we ask the same question to only two of our neighborhood know it alls. One answered right, one answered wrong. Now, each time Jackie or Paul correctly identifies who botched the question, they get 200 bucks. Yeah, and you can earn an extra $200 by using the dunce cap. Here's how. When you hear a question you think your opponent's too dim-witted to answer, bang the buzzer on your chair and dunce them. If they cannot answer the question, you get 200 bucks. And remember, there's only one dunce in the round, so don't get slap happy. Okay, Jackie, you're up $300 to $100. Here's the first question I asked to both Ra and Oyeta. I asked them both, Rhett Butler was a character from what movie? Jackie, you've been dunced by Paul. I think she's offended by it. $200 on the line, Jackie. If you don't answer it right, he's going to get the money. I'm going to read it again. If you do answer correctly, 200 bucks for you. Uh-oh. Five seconds to answer the question, Jackie. Rhett Butler was a character from what movie? God. I, I, two seconds. <laughs> you ran out of time. Paul gets the 200 bucks. We got a time game. Oh, Jackie. All right, flip up your paddles, guys. Jackie, flip up your paddle. Tell me who blew it. Jackie, who blew it like you up there? Was it Ra or, Ye or Oyeta? Oh, Go ahead, guys, let me know. I'm gonna Tie game. This crowd's just waiting to bet out the answer. Okay, and. I'm gonna well, Angie's not in this round. Okay, all right. <laughs> she might have blown it. Don't really remember. All right. Okay. okay all right, now I'm, you're locked in. You guys yes. split your decision on this one. Jackie, yes. you think Oyeta blew it like you? Let's find yes. out if she did. Rhett Butler was a character from what movie? Right. Oh, Gone with the Wind. There you go. You ever see that movie? No. But you knew Rhett Butler. Yeah, who don't? Well, what did he say at the end of the movie? He said, frankly, my dear. I don't give a damn. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jackie. Oh, yeah, I knew the answer. Gone with the Wind. Paul, it looks like Ross wanted to blow it. Let's check it out. Yeah. Rhett Butler was the main character from what movie? Benson. Benson? <laughs> no, Benson was a butler. But... Yeah, he was the black one, right? You remember that joint, right? <laughs> She took the lead. That question proved very profitable for you. Okay, here's the next question, Jackie. You can get it back. Okay. This is the question I asked to Ra and to Angie. Finish this expression. Wake up and smell the. Mm. So who blew it? What do you think? Do you think it was Ra or Angie? Blew that one. Paul got the dunce and the, the right prediction. Took the lead. Nice job, buddy. Okay, you guys are locked in. All right, Jackie, you think Ra. Paul, you think Angie. Jackie, why Ra? You think he blew this one, huh? Yeah, because. Uh... She okay. probably doesn't drink coffee. All right, let's see. Finish this expression. Wake up and smell the... Indonesia. Yeah. <laughs> That's a wrong answer. Way to go, Jackie. We got a tie game, Paul. I guess Angie got it right. Let's find out what that answer is. Finish this expression. Wake up and smell the... Coffee. Wake up and smell the coffee. Yeah. When, when is this saying usually? When is it used? In the morning. <laughs> oh no, uh, it's when people don't get something okay, like uh, right. just now. <laughs> right, <okay. laughs> yeah, that's okay, pretty fitting. Okay. <laughs>
Sorry, Paul, she didn't blow. Wake up and smell the coffee, or wake up and smell the roses. We also would have accepted. Okay, here's the last question of the round, okay. guys. We got a tie ball game. I asked Oyetta and Angie both, what's the symbol for the Democratic Party? Which one blew it, Oyetta or Angie? Couldn't tell me what the symbol of the Democratic Party is. Tie game, good game here, guys. You guys are doing great. Okay, well, you guys are locked in. We're, either, we're probably gonna have a tie game going into round three here. You both think Ooh. Angie blew it. Jackie, you think she doesn't know? No, she's a little spiritual for that. Okay, let's find out. <laughs> What's the symbol of the Democratic Party? A donkey. A donkey, also known as a? Ass. All right, there you go. Are you a Democrat or Republican, or do you not care to discuss that? Um, I don't believe in either party. I think they're both equally evil. Angie got that right, you guys. I'm sorry, she didn't blow. You know who blew it? It was Oyana. Let's watch. What's the symbol of the Democratic Party? This. Thumbs down? Yes. All right. Thank you, Oyana. Let's recap the scores. Jackie, 500 bucks after two rounds. But Paul's hanging right there with you for 500 bucks also. Now that our players think they know who's got some horse sense up here, we'll see who they choose to, choose to saddle when we return. Who is known as the King of the Apes? A guy from Star Wars? Which guy? Um, the main guy. Luke Skywalker? Yeah. Welcome back to the show. It's time to run for the roses as we enter our next round. Pick your pony. This time, Jack and Paul will each choose one of the three mental Mustangs for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is worth 300 bucks, you guys, yeah. And we're gonna leave the dunce cap in this round. Can only be used once and it's worth 300 bucks. Now you guys are tied, 500 bucks a piece, but backstage, Jackie, you won the preliminary tiebreaker, so you're gonna choose first, so who'd you like to horse around with? I'm <laughs> gonna go with Ron. Ron, very nice choice. Yeah. Paul, how about you, who would you like to go with? I'm gonna go with my woman, Angie. You're gonna go with Angie, okay. Angie. <laughs> All right, here we go, Jackie. Our first question to Rob, 300 bucks on the line. What is an Eskimo pie? Do you think he got that right or wrong, Jackie? I think Rob got think, that think wrong. Rob got it wrong? All right, let's see if we can get you to 800 bucks. Let's see. What is an Eskimo pie? Some big ass piece of ice cream with some um, chocolate around it. So like, it's like an Enclade bar, right? Do you like those? Back as a kid, yeah. It was good. What's an Eskimo kiss? Do you know what that is? No. Nope. Do you want to give me an Eskimo kiss? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Eskimo. I'm sorry, he got it right, Jackie. He knew what an Eskimo pie was. Yes. And a kiss when he almost dropped me. All right, Paul, here's the first question I asked Let's Angie. Bring it on, bring it In on. In slang, what are the family jewels? Do you think she got that right or wrong, Paul? You know, she, she's a ditz, but I, I actually, uh, I think she got that right. All right, let's see if you can take a lead. Right. Let's find out. In slang, what are the family jewels? Um, balls, testicles. <laughs> Why do they call them family jewels? Because that's how you breed and make more people. Right. That's a right answer. Way to go, Paul. You want to jump into the lead here. Okay, here's the next question for you, Jackie, to Rob. I asked, I asked Rob, what is a Ouija board traditionally used for? Do you think Rob got that right or wrong, Jackie? You can tie it up if you oh, predict this correctly. Well, Come on, Raw. What do you um, think? Uh, right I or think, wrong? Uh, you can lose either way. Ouija board, I think he got that so right. That, okay, let's find out. <laughs> what is a Ouija board traditionally used for? Conjure up spirits. I've seen too many movies of that right there. Right, yeah. And I'll never do it to no ass. It's spooky? No, it doesn't. But I, some things are just meant to be left alone, kid. That's a right answer. Way to go. We got a tie game. Oh, she's licking the side. Very nice, Jackie. Okay, Paul. I'll we'll have to take the lead again here. <laughs> Here's the next question. See if you can leapfrog back in the lead here. I asked Angie, if someone is stroking their Sharpe, what are they stroking? What do you think, right or wrong, Angie? Oh, oh wait! Oh, that was such a stand-up! All right, put the cap on it. Jackie's been done, Paul. They were both, like, back and forth. 300 bucks on the line, Jackie. I'm going to read the question again. Okay. Okay, here's, here's, you'll have five seconds to answer it. If someone is stroking their Sharpe, what are they stroking? They're doggy. It's a correct answer, Jackie. Way to go. Put the cap on him. She gets the 300 bucks. She's up to 1100 Now, Paul, did Angie get that right or wrong? Did she get it right or wrong, Paul? What do you think? That was such oh. a standoff. Well, awesome. I, know, I know we're like, oh. I know. It was awesome. I, I know. was ready to grab her hand. It's tension for me to see. What do you think Angie, Angie did? She's, she's a ditz. Let's go with one. All right, let's she find out. She doesn't know this, though. If someone is stroking their Sharpe, what are they stroking? They are stroking their wig. Their wig? Yeah. So why do they call it a Sharpe? 
so you'll look sharp in it. <laughs> right, you look sharp in a sharp paint. Yeah. That's a wrong answer. Way to go, Paul. You have another $300. Thanks for the 1100 We got a tie game. Okay, you each have one more question of the round, and we have a tie game. Jackie, here's your last question. I asked Ara. Finish the expression. Going to hell in a. Hmm. So do you think Ra could finish that for you? Right or wrong? I think Ra. Okay, got this is for the lead. Wrong. You think you got it wrong? Let's find out. Finish the expression. Going to hell in a. Going to hell in my fam's old busted ass car. <laughs> what is the family's old ass busted ass car? It's a um a RX7 Mercury RX7 joint. That shit is hard as hell, yo. Is that a hoopty? Pretty much. Okay. He got it wrong. Way to go. There you go. You're up to fourteen hundred dollars, Jackie. The correct answer was uh, going to hell in a handbasket. Okay. All right, now Paul, you need this three hundred dollars to tie it up for the it's, wager it's death. It's coming. I feel it. I asked Angie. Reefer Madness was a film that warned us about the use of what? You think she got that right or wrong, buddy? I need, a, I need an answer here. Angie doesn't can. know this stuff. You Look think wrong? Her. Let's it's see if we have a tie game. Reefer Madness was a film that warned us about the use of what? Marijuana. Yeah. Now, have you ever smoked marijuana? Of course. What's but... your favorite thing about smoking marijuana? I just like to feel mellow and um, look at the sky and um, meditate. And then eat Doritos. Yeah, that too. <laughs> she got it right. I'm sorry there, Paul. You don't take, uh, we don't have a tie game. Paul, you have $1,100. But Jackie's got $1,400. Now, when we return, Jackie and Paul will be making a final prediction on a question I asked Rob, Oyeta, and Angie. I asked them, who was famous for flying the spirit of St. Louis? Stay tuned, because the only thing more dangerous than the smoking section of the Hindenburg is... The wager of... Don't go away, people! Come back! Each of you secretly chose one of the three people out on the street, made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. You got a good game here. Paul, you got $1,100, yeah, but Jackie's got $1,400. Yeah, She's sitting in my uh, lead right now. Now, don't forget, only the winner keeps the bucks, which means it all rides on this final question. And here's a question I asked all three, Ra, Oyata, and Angie. Who is famous for flying the spirit of St. Louis? Okay, now Paul, you're trailing right now, only 300 bucks. Who do you want to see? It's over here. I'm gonna go with Ra. You're going with Ra? All right, Jackie, how about you? I'm gonna go with You're gonna Angie. go with Angie. Okay, well, nobody picked up yet, and we're gonna say bye to her. All right, Paul, we're gonna check out what Ra on Times Square had to say. See if he got this right, see if you can right take on, the lead. Right Who is famous for flying the spirit of St. Louis? Charles Lindbergh. <laughs> there you go. That's a right answer. Charles Lindbergh is the correct answer. He nailed that like that. Paul, you have raw. You got 1100 bucks. He did get that question right. Did you say right or wrong? I said wrong. Oh, you said wrong, Paul. How much is that going to cost you? Raw hurt you. How much money he did you wager, me. Paul? Let me see of your $1,100. Oh, flip it oh. over, buddy. You wagered. He doesn't want to flip it over because how much did he wager? He wagered 1100 Watch him down to zero. Jackie, you're in control. Let's check out Angie's clip. See how you do. Who is famous for flying the spirit of St. Louis? Amelia Earhart. Amelia Earhart, and sadly, what happened? She got lost, and no one ever found her again. That's a wrong answer. Amelia Hart is not uh, not a correct answer. Charles Lindbergh was correct. Angie, you have 14, or Jackie, I'm sorry, you have $1,400. You went with Angie, she got it wrong. Did you say right or wrong? I said she got it right. Oh, no. Listen, I hope you didn't wager it all. How much of your $1,400? Are you going to leave here with anything? She wagered $1,000. Leaves her with $400. Bucks. Jackie, you're the queen of the streets. Way to go. What a game. Oh, my God. Paul's Meyer. We'll see you next time, folks, on Street Smarts. Bye-bye.